crafty friends. In this video, I'm going to give you 328 reasons why you should join Stampin' Up! during the month of June 2023. Let's get started. All of this can be yours for just $99. There are 328 sheets of paper. I'm going to see how fast I can share these sheets of paper with you. If you have any questions, please ask them and please check in and say hello. My name is Kimberly Smith and I'm the Paper Chef. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I operate out of the US. So what I'm about to share with you is a starter kit special that is good only in the United States now. You can join anywhere in the world right now during the month of June and you'll have your own awesome special. But it won't be $99 exactly and it won't be, the math might not work out to exactly what I'm saying. I have done a spreadsheet for you, which I've posted inside of the description of this video. Now, let me give you a little background before I start rambling off numbers to you. We have always a great starter kit deal. Always. It's always going on and it's usually $125 to join, of worth of products for $99. So that's typically what happens in any month that you would join Stampin' Up! when there's not an extra special, you would always be able to pick out $125 worth of items and only pay $99. So that's already a great deal. You would get $26 worth of free items, right? And you would get free shipping. Now shipping usually costs 11%. So at any given time, if you were ever to join my team and shout out to Judy who joined it last month before this special, you would still be getting a great deal. However, during the month of June, there is something going on, it's called a starter kit special. And we give, we, meaning Stampin' Up, there's an extra $30 worth of items that you can pick out. And you still only pay the $99, that has not changed. You always pay $99 for a starter kit. But this time, during the month of June, you're able to choose $155 worth of items. So that's an extra $56 worth of items for only $99 and you get free shipping. So that's really great. Again, you would save your 11%, which you would normally pay on shipping. However, oh my goodness, this is too good not to share. However, during the month of June, it happens to also be our designer series paper share, a sale, not share. Although I am doing a share, but that's another story. This designer series paper sale, S-A-L-E, is 15% off all the papers I'm going to share with you. 15% off. What does that mean to you? It means that you can get more in your starter kit. So not only would you be able to get $155 worth of items in your starter kit, but if you pick out the ones that are on sale, the only items that are on sale, I'm about to share, I'm about to open these for you because I'm doing it, designer series paper share and I need to open all these anyhow. If you do that and you save 15% on all these different papers, that would be the best thing to put in your starter kit. You would not get any better value than by doing that because you'd be putting in items that are already on sale. Now, if you do the sample starter kit that I'm sharing with you right now and you tally everything up and you were to buy it just normally, and I just did this, I did another sheet. I love numbers. I love spreadsheets, Google Sheets. I like Excel and Google Sheets. I tallied all these up, these 13 packs of paper, and I added in some cotton ribbon combo pack that's in clearance. And I totaled everything up and it came out to $154.84. Again, you're not paying that, you'd be paying $99. If you were to then, if you were to just go buy all the stuff, which you can do, be my customer. I love customers. You guys are awesome. I love spoiling you. Well, my mom helps spoil you more than I do. You would, if you were to just buy all these things at 15, you know, at the regular price during a normal month and you were to buy all this paper and you were to pay for shipping on all this paper, and all the stuff I'm sharing with you, it would come out to $201.24. But because you're paying $99, and that's with the shipping, you would be saving, with what I'm about to share, $102.24. And when I say saving, that means if you were to go buy all the paper at regular price, and you were buying it anyway because you love paper, who doesn't love paper, you, you're, what I'm about to share is $102.24 savings. Okay, so why join Stampin' Up? Let me just start opening paper, okay, as I'm talking to you. We're gonna open it, we're gonna talk. This is called Masterfully Made. There are 13 packs of paper on sale. This is one of them. 
328 reasons to join Stampin' Up. You get 12. I'm going to, I'm going to explain. You get 328 different sheets of paper. Some are going to be six by six and some are going to be 12 by 12. This paper's gorgeous. I'm not going to go over all the coordinating colors, but it's double-sided. All the, all of our designer series paper is double-sided. So that's 328 reasons. That's where I came up with the title of this video. I just counted up all the paper you would get in the sample starter kit and just showing you all the, that paper and what it looks like. So you can do so much with paper and I'll share a few samples of what you can do with these beautifully designed papers. Our collections last for one year. This is in our annual catalog. Some collections last a shorter bit of time if they're in a what we call a seasonal catalog or holiday catalog. But all of these papers that are on sale this month are gonna be around until next year, which is gives you lots of time to see loads more samples created with these. Speaking of samples, I have a, just a couple I grabbed out. I didn't grab all of my swaps, but I just did a three-part series on the swaps that I received during my last trip. And so this is one created with Masterfully Made, and it's, na it's named... I'm not, not named, created by Lena Ging. Wait, let me make sure that I don't butcher anyone's names. And thank you guys for saying hi. I could see I could see you, but then like what happens is it just pops up and pops back down. Lisa Gersa. See, I already butchered her name. Okay, she's from Ontario, so it looks like. Okay, Lena Gersa. But look at that. That's from Master... Uh, that's, that's the Masterfully Made Suite, but I'm sorry. She used actually the paper she used, which I'll do next is this pack because she used this one called, so there's a suite that goes with all her paper. But she, so she used some of that suite with the dies, but she used this paper for the background of this card. So now let's talk about Delightfully Eclectic. This is one of those really cool packs where you get 48 sheets and you get, let me just throw all this trash away. You get 12 by 12. This is 12 by 12 paper, but you get four of each. So kind of a visual, I need to just show you that with one of the, one of these, right? Four 12 by 12 sheets. And I'm going to turn over the last one. This is really cool paper with this, with the swans and everything. Love it. So this is called like a, we call this like a bulk, a bulk pack. You can see the little flowers. Hopefully my camera is auto focusing. And so these are, these are like little like tulips. Okay, see how this is, see what she did with this card? I mean, is that awesome, all the layering? Super, super cool. All right, so now I want to just show you, instead of trying to pull up, because that's kind of heavy, right? I'm just going to show you the front and the back. But just know that you get 12 sheets of whatever I'm showing you. I mean, how cute are these pretzels, right? Great for Oktoberfest cards and things. I attended an Oktoberfest when I lived in Germany, actually more than one. All three, actually, all three years I was in Germany. Super fun to, I mean, the singing, the pretzels, the beer. It was fun. This one looks kind of like a Scrabble board, right? Look at that pretty peacock color on this paper. So Delightfully Eclectic goes along with a punch. There's a punch that you may recognize from our catalog that coordinates with these little shapes that I'm showing you. And then this looks like that library card, you know, the library, library pockets. Did you ever check out, you know, books from a library? I did. And you had to get your little date stamp, the date it was due on the back of the library card. That's what that paper looks like to me. And then we have daisies and this one is really fun for summer and the little lemons. We got some misty moonlight going on in another one of those library page, library card pages. Lots of little tiny, this, I don't know if you can see that, but that's, there's little tiny flowers in there. And then this on the back. So that out of all the papers, that's the only one you get 48 sheets in a pack. I mean, I'm sorry, except for out of all the 12 by 12 papers, all these little packs of paper, there's four, you're going to get 48 sheets of these and these, and I'll show you those. And then this one has 40. This is called Glorious Gingham. So all the prices are inside the description of this video. And... I'm pretty sure I did all the math right because I used Google Sheets. So, for example, a normal pack of paper, like the paper I showed you earlier, would be normally it would be 1250, 
but because it's on sale for 15% off, it's 1062. So if you just like any of the paper I'm sharing with you, go to my store and just get the paper. You don't want to get a starter kit. I mean, but I'm just trying to give you a really good value. I, I thought of it when I saw the special. I thought two specials in one month. Designer series paper share and starter kit could be just combined with a, such a great value. All right, so now I'm done showing you Delightfully Eclectic. This one's kind of psychedelic, right? All right, now we're going to put that off to the side, and we're going to open this one because this one is going to be in my card club this month. We're going to be using these two. I have a card club. It is based on circle sayings, and these are the two papers we're going to be using for our eight cards. We make two of each, but they're not exactly the same designs all the time because this paper, you don't get two of each sheet, but you're gonna get 12 sheets and 12 little six by six of these, and you're gonna be able to make eight cards. And I don't have a link to that right now because I only wanted to link to the starter kit special in this video, but I can go ahead and link it to it later in my newsletter, but I just didn't wanna confuse anybody with what to click on. So this is called Countryside Inn. This is one of those papers where you're just like embrace the blue, right? Embrace the blue. This is such a cool, pack of paper because one side is really nice solid blue and then you have like florals or a nice pattern on the other side so all these papers have an a side and a b side and if you can catch these little bunnies i mean how cute are these bunnies we'll just show you the b side as well love the bunnies so in this pack is like knight of navy and then you got the bird boho blue uh, misty moonlight and balmy blue. So because of my card club is called Card on Blue. I love blues, I love all shades of blues. And I'm the paper chef, so I'm calling it Card on Blue. That's that's the name of my card club, my new card club. It's lots of perks for my card club. And we're gonna be making a blue card this month because I figured, you know, why not make a blue card since it's called Card on Blue. And then we have little foxes. And that's why I chose this paper because it was lots of blues just like the sun prints had lots of blues that was a paper that retired so i like the trees this is my favorite piece of this paper is the, the trees are my favorite piece all right i'm gonna have a few examples i didn't grab out all my swaps but we're just gonna grab this one it is made by angie brailesford angie brailesford it's Here's her card, Rubber Stampede. And I have this swap because it was re I received it as part of on my trip. It's really cool because it's a bookmark. So there's a magnetic piece inside. So this was a 3D swap of mine. So not only is there a magnet to put on a book. So like, let's say here, just grab, I'm just grabbing this. See, there's a little magnet that would slap on a book on the pages, but also there were little seeds in it and it's a cute little pocket card. So I really like that swap. And just so I don't lose where who made what, I'm putting it back inside. And I would show you my card club cards, but they're inside. They're not, I'm in my she shed now. And my she shed is uh, outside of my house. So I've been working on my cards, you know, at night while I watch Netflix and things. Anyway, so they're inside the house, but this is beautiful. Beautiful fold. So I'm just showing you some things made with this countryside in designer shapes paper. This is Betty Weisbrick. Betty Weisbrick. And she even put all the different products that she used on it, which I really like. And I have others made from that too, but if, if you want to see lots and lots of samples, go ahead and check out my three-part swap series where I showed over 50 swaps and swag that I received on the trip. All right, let's keep going. We are going to just keep doing the 12 by 12 so we're not confused, right? All the 12 by 12 paper. I don't have a sample of this one. It's called Le Les Shops. And actually, none of the people on the trip gave me, and not that I know of. I should say not that I know of because I might be missing that something was made from this. But this is, I don't have any samples of this, but this is really cute. Little shops. Cute, cute paper. Little French Les, Les Shops. You got little bakeries and you got little, let's see, a bookstore. Got bread and cupcakes and 
or a little a tart sorry ice cream cones ramen noodles lots of random things going on in this paper but on the other side it's just kind of plainer and then you have more little foods and then beautiful little shops on the back little i mean this is not food this one is little tiny shops so whenever you see a name of paper it usually corresponds with a suite of products oops i just want to go a little faster because i have so much paper to show you 328 sheets exactly so for this kind of papers when you get the 12 by 12 papers they are all double-sided and you get two of each so you see what i mean you get like what two of each kind of sheet like this well not like that one. let me say like this two of each well, there's double patterns right so you get lots of opportunities now for these kinds of packs though for these packs you get 48 sheets and you get four of each little pattern so it, it's just a little different you get many more patterns in a smaller pack than you would have for patterns in, the, in this larger pack so that's kind of nice like in these packs you have 12 different patterns and in these ones you'd have 24 different patterns based on the way the paper goes so it's just different styles i personally love the six by six and some people are like oh i wish they'd all have all 12 by 12 because we can cut it down but not me i like having i'm hoping i'm showing all you this i love having the pattern packs like the little packs because i do so much more with them with my little paper purses and things this one is a those are books by the way and little paint and stuff like that all right so that was Liz shops and then let's see we're gonna do daisy next because i do have a couple daisy samples this is an interesting pack of paper. It's called Fresh as a Daisy. The reason it's very interesting is if you've heard of One Sheet Wonders where you make a bunch of cards that are like all where you cut the paper into many different shapes and you, you have card fronts, these are already made for us. We have a One Sheet Wonder built right into the paper. Only one, don't worry about it. It's not like all the sheets are like this. But just this one sheet is like this. And there's the other side of it. So if they made this side like, I think it's the moody mauve color where you're not gonna wanna use this side anyway. So you're like, okay, that's fine, right? Look look how much light I'm blocking with that one piece of paper. So this is pretty cool. And you have lots of card fronts, lots of examples. And then I'm just gonna show you the other sides of these. See how they're just real plain, like you're painting and stuff. And then the other side is cute little daisy patterns. So I love this. It's, it's like lots of fun and great for spring and summer. I love this. Actually, I like this side better because I'm into the pretty peacock color and all these blues and greens. So what does a starter kit entail? So in addition to all the stuff on, you could pick out and get in your starter kit, which you don't have to use what I'm showing you, by the way, this is only what's called a sample starter kit. Just because I gave you all the product numbers and, and say these are great things to put in your starter kit and what a great deal, you can put whatever you want into your starter kit. But you also get from Stampin' Up! A, a bunch of things to help you with your business if you want to make it this a business and you don't have to because most of my team does this they join Stampin' Up! for the discount and they're what's called we would call in we don't want to label people but we say hobby demonstrator it means that you joined for the discount that's in fact why I first joined from I joined on the last day of a celebration special for the discount myself and then I had a full-time job for many years while I was doing this Stampin' Up! and then just gradually, it, this has become my full-time job as a crafter. But I, I did it just start out. I didn't start out crafting with Stampin' Up. I was a crafter before I joined Stampin' Up. But I love the products and I wanted a discount and I joined. So what is a starter kit? You get all these things that you pick out for your starter kit. Then you get a free paper pumpkin kit and free things to help you with your business if you'd like to start a business. Including a box of catalogs, a case of catalogs, eight catalogs. This is a swap I forgot to show you the other day, so let's open it together. It's made with the Fresh as a Daisy. And it's a really cute little basket made with the, the little library pocket envelope dies. Is that cute or what? I just forgot to open it in my video the other day. They put adhesive on it. So anywho, you get a box of catalogs, you get some order forms if, if you wanna use them. If not, you give them, give them away. And super cute. Let's see who made this. Kathy Morgan. This is from Kathy Morgan, a demonstrator. Super cute. Show you a couple other samples. This one is from Melissa Ellis. And it's another Daisy card. And then we have this little one. 
I love this little one and I, I'm gonna show you how I case some projects. Okay, this one is from Rhonda Morgan and she gave us this cute little charm with a little anchor on it and it's cute little purse. And when I get to the Zany Zoo, I will show you some things I created with the paper purse concept that from the idea I got from her and Jane Stoll. All right, so we have our samples. We got da da da. We're on, we're on the right roll. Let me just open this one since I don't have any samples of it. It's called Earthen Elegance. Well, I might, but not. I didn't pull them out. In the starter kit, you get the paper pumpkin kit, order forms, a case of catalogs, and your one hundred and twenty or one hundred fifty-five dollars worth of items. The free shipping. And then from that point on, from that very day, as soon as you get the email that says this is your demonstrator ID, you are then eligible to go in and start placing demonstrator orders. So perks of placing demonstrator orders. By the way, this is called Earthen Elegance. The perks are that you get 20% 20, 20 off to start right away. Yvonne knows. I see she's in there. Any of my team that's there, please, please write some perks because I can't see all your... Questions, and please answer questions. I see my team is, is coming on. You get 20% off. Now, later, after a while, let me just keep going through the paper, you will start getting 25% off. After you get to a certain level, it's called Bronze Elite Level, and then after that, it's called the Silver Level, and then I'm Silver Elite. You just, you just can keep growing with our organization as you get more sales, and even if the sales are your own sales, you can still advance to Bronze Elite and you still get that 25% discount. That's the highest the discount goes, but there's lots of other perks. For example, at my level, um, the, one of the perks that I get at my level of Silver Elite is I get one free event per year. And I chose to go to Jacksonville, Florida for an on-stage event. And that's what I used my free event for. And it was probably like $179. But we get to, that's one of the perks of being a demonstrator. You get to go to events that only demonstrators can go to and when you get to a certain level, you get one free event a year. But even, even if you don't get the free event, you don't earn that, you, you can still pay and go to these events and they're great for professional development. And you know, can you use other products when you are a demo? Well, you, you can use whatever, you can't use products that like, you can, you, first of all, you can do whatever you want. I, I'm not even sure who asked the question. I just saw something flash by, I can use other products. You could do, it's a free world, do whatever you want. But as far as Stampin' Up! goes, the policy, it's like if you have a competing product, you're not supposed to demonstrate that product. Like if, so you see me all the time, for example, I don't know if my camera, can you see this over there? Like this is, this is a product. Okay, oh, maybe you can see that. That's a brother scan and cut. I have four of them. Right? I've, been, I've been showing how to use those on YouTube for years. We do not sell, we meaning Stampin' Up!, we do not sell electronic die cutting machines, right? I do not, this is not a competing product. We don't even sell those at Stampin' Up! And this, this, if, in a, and if anything, let me just keep on going. Let me, as I'm showing you, this is Earth and Elegance. I'm done Earth and Elegance and I'm gonna show you another paper as I'm talking, okay? I'm showing you next. This one called Stargazing. It's really, it's really cute, called Stargazing, all about space. You, if you were to, like when I do show the scan and cut, for example, I just want to kind of get into that a little bit. I only show, like, okay, I showed how to cut out this critter. This is this is a zany zoo, but not this critter, because this critter has a die with it. So when I did it, when I did a tutorial on how to cut out pattern paper with the scan and cut, I made sure that I only showed you how to cut out the elephant, the juggling, the koala bear juggling cupcakes the little dog, right? I only showed you how to cut out those things. I did not show you how to cut out the dancing leopard or the raccoon holding balloons because we have dyes for those. I wanted to make sure I wasn't showing you something we had dyes for. So if that makes sense, like I'm not gonna show you how to cut out something with a machine that we actually sell metal dyes for. And of course, like you're not gonna, you're not gonna like be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and then like, oh, by the way, um, here's ink from, um, I don't know, Tim Holtz or something, right? Like, it doesn't mean that, it doesn't mean that you don't use stuff from other companies. Like, maybe you like to use stuff from Tim Holtz. No, no one's stopping you, it's a free world. Go buy whatever you want, use whatever you want. But don't get on and do a video on YouTube about how to um, use the distressed ink. And you might think, oh, well, we don't sell that color. Well, Stampin' Up! doesn't see it that way. 
They see ink from another company as a competing product. And I've been nabbed by compliance. I don't know, my fair share of times. Like just, they called me yesterday. I mean, do you see me stressing? No, they called me yesterday. I was, I was in the car and they're like, this is compliance. And you posted a, you posted something in 2021. I'm not even kidding. I'm not making this up. 2021 and you didn't put a disclaimer. And I was like, 2021, what's the, what's the exact post? I do not remember what I posted in 2021. I've been on, I've been on YouTube and Instagram and then Facebook for many years. And they said, well, you were talking about a trip you went on and you didn't put the disclaimer. And so they said, we'll send you an email and tell you exactly which post. So I haven't fixed it yet, but then I got to write back to compliance and tell them that I fixed it. And the disclaimer is like, for example, and I should have just said it now. I'll tell you my disclaimer. So when I was telling you I got some of these things on the incentive trip, they're going to nab me just for this video because they heard me say the word incentive trip. Artificial intelligence does captions on everything I say, and then they can search for my whole transcript of my video. So I'm supposed to say, and I'll say it, less than 1% of Stampin' Up! demonstrators earn the incentive trip. That's the disclaimer I'm supposed to put on every post. Um, so this is not typical. Going on an incentive trip is not typical. So let's just say if you join Stampin' Up, you're doing it for the discount. If you grow into it, if you grow later and do this, I love this paper. That's why I'm holding it up longer. This paper is so cool, stargazing. If you stick with Stampin' Up long enough and you earn a trip, I'm so happy. I would love to go on that trip with you. We'll hang out and be best buds. But it's not typical to earn a trip. So you're not doing it for that reason. So that's what I'm saying is if you did something like you showed an ink that was a competing product or something. Then Stampin' Up! Compliance would say, hey, you're not allowed to do that. You're showing, you know, that's a competing product. You're not supposed to show anything that's competing, like that we actually sell. And you would get a, you would get a lecture, like a phone call, an email, and you'd have to fix it in a certain amount of time. And I've heard of people that said, too bad, so sad, I'm doing, by the way, this is called Gone Fishing. Oh, no, it's not called Gone Fishing. I think it should be called Gone Fishing, right? Yeah, even if you're just a hobby demo, but if don't say just a hobby demo. Hobby demos are friggin' awesome. So, yes, everyone, can, everyone has to comply by the same policies, but hobby demos typically don't have YouTube channels. So you wouldn't even, no one would be like, there's no hidden camera at your house seeing what kind of ink you use, right? But I have heard of people saying, too bad, so sad, and they're not going to stick around because... I, I know specifically one demonstrator who said she was like promoting other products and they told her you can't. And she said, see, see you later. Like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to abide by these rules. And she just, she quit, which is sad because she had a team and then the team, they, they go to someone else. Like, for example, like my, my upline is Hattie. I'm just telling you all the straight, I'm just shooting, shooting straight. So my upline's Hattie. So if I decided to leave, then she would have my, my whole team would become part of her team. She's awesome too. She, I joined her team when I was living in Germany. But yes, hobby demos have to apply by, by rules, but they don't, nobody watches you because you're not on YouTube. I mean, some of my hobby demos are on YouTube. Like for example, Sandra, she's one of my team members and she just start, she just did a YouTube video today or yesterday and it was about the butter it's something retired but she she's passionate about the sweet it was the butterfly kisses sweet and she did a video on that and um it's okay to do videos on any stampin up retired products or any products from the past but i also want to clarify like we are crafters so we use other things so one thing like i use all the time in my crafting is and don't you love this piece it's like a map can you see that it's like a map nautical and the other side's awesome too with the waves. So when she when 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 I show other products, like say I'm showing mm, the little otter, you know, like one of the, and I want them to wobble. Stampin' Up doesn't sell wobble springs, and I'm like, hey, let's put the little let's put the little otter on a wobble spring, and he's wobbling around, and and then I I might say, hey, you guys, if you want to buy these wobble springs, go out to my I'm, I'm on Amazon. Let's make sure that these fish are not upside down. Okay, I'm an Amazon, what's called an Amazon influencer. And I'm in the Amazon influencer program, which I, I could tell you guys more about in another video. But we're going to do this one. 
This one's my favorite of the 12 by 12s. We're going to do this one now. This is called Zany Zoo, and I do have lots of examples of it. So I might say, hey, there's a link to my, you know, go to the description in this video, and you can find the Wobble Springs that I bought on Amazon or something, right? And I might say, you can go get, like, um, I might do, this one is something I do a lot. Like, oh, I love these erasers. Whenever I'm using my scan and cut, I love these white erasers. These are awesome because they don't leave stains on your paper, okay? I've been doing this for years. I've been promoting products on Amazon for, for many years now. I did that before my blog even became, I mean, I didn't care. I was making like two cents, $2.35 after doing this for like a month. I mean, I went on like that for years before I, my channel grew, but I was still always promoting different things. And even though like no one was watching at the beginning, I, I had different things that I was promoting and I still do. Like the electric eraser. We don't sell that, so it's still a crafty item and I still can promote it. But I mean, I have no reason to promote other items because I love everything that we sell. Like I would not even, I mean, I would tell you. And if there's something I don't like, you, you won't even see me do a video on it. And you'll hear me tell you I don't like it. I don't like everything, but what I'm saying is I have enough stuff that Stampin' Up! sells that I do like that I can promote all day long. There's some things that I just won't, I don't care for, you know, but, so I won't promote. All right, so anyway, Zany Zoo, guys. I'm doing, this is this month's workshop series. This is also my make and take. Let's see, I probably have this all around me here. This is gonna be my make and take. I'm going to an event on Saturday. So this is the one that I'm making 60. I actually have to cut 60 pieces. I got, I got to show you this. Not for sympathy, but just so you know where I've disappeared to. I'm going to show you. So this weekend, I'm doing an event in Aiken, South Carolina. And I need to cut all the pieces that you need to make all those projects. These are called the nested label dies. And I've cut this many so far, which is probably only half, like 30 of those. I need this little nested label banner. And these, these guys. And I do have electronic die cutting machines, but the problem with those is that they leave like indents, you know, like, or they're just too strong. And so like they leave, the, the etching doesn't come out right. They indent my paper, that's pool party. So anyway, so I'm cutting all the pieces and all the designer series paper and the lemon lime twist and even the piece for the back and everybody's make and take packets are gonna have all these things in them except for the gems because we're, those are gonna be separate in a separate packet, but I have to cut. This is these pieces embossed and that piece is embossed, but that's Zany Zoo. That's what you can do with this cute paper. So that's where I've disappeared to. But what's really cool is, and I'm making them, I'm cutting them all at once. And some of this is for my card club and some of it's for my bingo. I'm trying to cut it all at once. What's really cool about events, and this is a demonstrator only event that we're going to, and we're celebrating the 35th, 35th anniversary tea is that you get all kinds, we're gonna have all kinds of make and takes and swaps. Oh, I already showed you that paper. Make and takes and swaps. And I'm gonna come back with all kinds of ideas. Maybe I'll even go live from the event. It's in Aiken, South Carolina. Stampin' Up! Headquarters is coming to our event because they're, they're attending 35 events this year. It's called 35 for 35. So if you wanna know, is this company gonna be around? If I invest, if I start getting some of these products, is it gonna be around? Yes, we've been around for 35 years. The founder was on the, the cruise with us. The, her daughter is the CEO. The founder's daughter is the CEO of the company. And, and now her kids will probably work in the company too. I think they already work in the company and something. I mean, can you see how cute this paper is? One of each, there's one design on each of these sheets that cuts out with the die. So I, I told you that during my scan and cut video where I showed how to cut these out. I didn't show you how to cut out the ones that cut out with the metal die but I did show you how to cut out the other critters. This paper is a scan and cut user's dream because of how many cute little patterns that you can cut out. So like we have a metal die for the little le dancing leopard, but then the other little dancing characters you can cut out with your machine. Super, super cute. I'm gonna show you one that I cut out from the machine. Look at these little guys. This is not the machine, I mean, from the paper. It's a dye, but it's from the paper. So I didn't have to color these balloons because it's already on the paper. I have my little bucket of crafty goodness here. All right, I'm not sure if I showed you all the rest of these papers. So there was just a couple more. There's the pigs and the skunk. I mean, that, oh, my shirt, thank you. My mom made my shirt. My mom makes 
like a lot of my clothes, so she made this shirt. So thank you. And I got the I got the fabric when I was in Japan. We were in Okinawa, uh, working there, teaching over the overseas. And I saw this Hawaiian type fabric in the store, and then she had this braiding that she she made here. And I'm gonna show you a couple more Zany Zoo projects, and then I'll get into um, the uh, the smaller paper. So this one is a little paper purse. If you want to know how to make it, it's part three of my Zany Zoo workshop series. Some little chocolates in there and you can you can like even take the designer series paper and put your little you know wrap the nuggets and all that kind of stuff i'm always coming up with new things because i go to i do swaps and then when i so that's the thing about being i'm going to tell you about being part of my specific team and hattie's specific team in a moment because that's part of my thing that i wanted to share tonight but I'm only talking, I've only talked so far about why it's cool to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and how long the company's been around. But before, let me just show you where I got the inspiration for this project, if I can find it. Let's see, it was, it was called, oh, there was another Delightfully Eclectic by Karen Titus. That was another Delightfully Eclectic sample. I have so many swaps. Here we go. This one. So the, re the reason I came up with this idea is because when I did the swap for the incentive trip, there was a lady, Jane Stuhl. She, so she's a demonstrator and she earned the trip and she gave me these in color little bags. And so I cased it. Cased it means copy and share everything. And you case it and you come up with your own design based on that. Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you. And then here's another, here's a little one I have for bingo. And then of, of course I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff with this zany zoo. I just have a couple out right now. There's so many to do. Okay, so, so many. I mean, I'm not gonna show them all to you because we have to go through some more packs of paper, right? But look at that, super cute. That's from a German demonstrator. All right, watch my Zany Zoo workshop series. If you're interested, and in, we've just finished the fourth part yesterday and in part four we did note cards little little turtle note cards and these little boxes these little envelope treat boxes and then the one before that i showed you how to make paper purses i'm going to show you my gingham paper purses that i'm using for my 3d swap this weekend all right so i've talked about stampin up as a company now if you've ever gone online let's open up this one next it's called ink botanicals it's part of my in color no not my in color club my Card on Blue Crafting Club. All right. We, sorry the comment, it went so fast I couldn't read it, it disappeared. It's very, when I go live on this format, it's like, whoo, the comments go up and down so quickly. So Ink Botanicals has 48 sheets in a pack because it's six by six. So I'll just show you, like, I'll pick up, I'll pick up the four and then I'll just show you like the other side as I'm talking and then I'll put down the four. So you get four of each because they're six by six. It has a very vanilla base to it. When you go on retired Stampin' Up! sites or Stampin' Up! retired product sites, you're going to see that when you try to sell things that retire, they really are, products are so good and so sought after that they retain a lot of their value. So if you're ever wondering like, oh, I buy Stampin' Up! stuff, can I sell it later? Well, there's a lot of retired sites where I sell things. I mean, I, I even bought things. And then I also have what's called a BOGO sale once in a while, where you can like buy something and get some get something for that value. But yes, the, my items, my retired items are very sought after because, especially during my BOGO sales, because once something retires, you can no longer get it. And usually it only sticks around for like one or two catalog cycles before it retires. So people go crazy over the Stampin' Up! products. I mean, it's these are nice high quality products. As long as you're getting the genuine ones but we won't even get into that. But genuine Stampin' Up! products, very high quality. Okay, we, we've been around. They stand behind the products. If you get an order and you call up and you're like, oh, I, you know, the the gems are missing. I mean, they will they will stand by your products and they, great customer service. They will replace things. If something's damaged, like I had, I had some gems one time and they slid off the, they slid, right? Yeah, product, whatever, but 
True, still have every product I've ever bought. Wow, good for you. All right, so one time the gems, like the adhesive slid off, the gems slid. And then I called up and I'm like, I took a picture, maybe I didn't call, I sent, I sent, it, sent in like an email. And I'm like, look at my, you know, flower gems, they fell, like they, they slid off or something. And they said, oh, we'll send you, we'll replace this for you. No questions asked. They just, I sent them the picture. That was, that was probably no questions asked because I sent the picture, but they stood by it. I love this little piece for fall. And they, you know, they replaced it. So Stampin' Up! is great customer service and you can't, you know, you can't beat that. That's awesome. That's awesome for that. Now, we talked about all the reasons that Stampin' Up! like, you know, awesome. We have great products. We have graphic designers. We have great, you know, product development. They've been around for a while. Okay, great color coordination. Okay, I mean, color. I, I have like all my ink colors here. I, I didn't even get rid of the color that I hate, which is Rococo Rose. Maybe you guys like that color. I kept all my colors because I just like how the colors coordinate and all go together. You got cardstock and ink coordination and designer series paper coordination. All right, so now we know why Stampin' Up. We shouldn't have to convince you why you'd want to join Stampin' Up, right? To get the discount on all these great products. But let's talk about my team and my Beehive team. So when you join Stampin' Up on my team using my link, right down, down there, paperchef.stampinup.net, and the link is in the description, then you become part of my team and you get discounts on my events that I that I host, such as bingo. We're having Zany Zoo Bingo, June 23rd. You get you get to actually go to the event for free. If you just want one bingo card, every team member can sign up to get a bingo card for free. And so can you if you're a Patreon member and you support my channel. So please, if you're a Patreon member, please sign up to get your free bingo card for June 23rd. Now you also, so you get discounts on designer series, paper shares, um, not, not every club because I can't afford to give discounts on every club because sometimes my margins are so thin between the PayPal fees and, and all the stuff I do. But when I can give you a discount, I will. And then you also, we have team meetings. We have team challenges. So there's lots of team challenges in my group. We have a tech challenge where I challenge you to do something techie. We have a, 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 a I mailed it challenge where you're, challenge to do to share the cards that you're making we have we have a orientation and training challenge we have a challenge if you recruit team members it's a team building challenge we have a challenge if you got promoted so there's lots of ways to earn prizes then you get put into drawings and we have prizes every the second of every month and sometimes it's not the second if it falls on a sunday or something we have a team meeting on zoom and my team meetings are fun because we go around and everybody gets to speak what you've been up to, okay? I, I can't believe how many farmers I have on my team. During the last Zoom meeting, they talked about their farms and what they've been up to with their farms. If you don't talk about your crafting, you can talk about whatever you want when it's your turn. So we have fun in our meetings. Now, you also are part of the Beehive. My team members, the Paper Chefs, that's my team, the Paper Chefs. We all, let me show you a couple samples made of the, that was Inked Botanicals, by the way, in case I forgot to name them. Inked Botanicals, and here's a couple samples. This one's made by Amy Rich. My team all belongs to the Beehive. The Beehive is my uplines team, Hattie. So her team and my team, we all do that stuff together. And on every Tuesday, I go on the Beehive and I talk about the weekly updates. Isn't this a really cool, um, really, really fun fold featuring that Inked Botanicals paper that I just showed you, right? So I really like how Amy did this card. It's a swap card. I really, really like that fold. And then here's one. And we do have a Spanish stamp set, the Earth and Elegance. I think it's whatever the name of that stamp set. This is Dawn Stock. And her card is in Spanish. So she is... We only have a couple Spanish stamp sets. But look at how cool this fold is. And she also used those same dies that I'm using called the Nested Essentials dies. So in the Beehive, there's other things that you get to take advantage of when you join the Beehive team. And we have quarterly swaps. So I've shown you these on my YouTube channel. If you're on this channel, you've seen my quarterly swaps from my team members. Pretty cool. So we, just like I brought back different samples from my last trip, we send each other, we send our cards to the swap coordinator. Lisa, she takes them, she divides them up, sends them all back to us. Plus we get a little Cersei or a little 3D item. Next, I'm showing you Glorious Gingham. There are 40 sheets in this pack. 
This is going to be a quick one because there's not that many. There's only five kinds of paper in this pack and they're double-sided. Glorious Kingdom. Okay, did I name? I did say Dawn Stock. Okay, making sure I gave credit. And you can see it has very vanilla on the base. Now back to the beehive. We have Stamper of the Month. So I talked about the swap. Every quarter we have a swap. We have Stamper of the Month. If you choose to be Stamper of the Month, you get a free bundle from Hattie. And then I'm just trying to show you both sides of this. This is called Blueberry Bushel. You get eight sheets of each for this one. So there's a lot of... So there's the five colors. I'll just tell you the colors as I show them to you. Blueberry Bushel, Lemon Lime Twist. And the Stamper of the Month gets a free bundle. And then they, they feature the stamp set every Saturday, creating projects. And that's how we get to know each other on that team. It's really fun to get to know each other by them. They first post a bio, then they do the Saturday projects and we get to see everybody's different styles. Okay. There's also a team meeting on the, it's usually the first Sunday, but I think she's changing it. Um, Beehive also has some live events that you also get a discount on for being a team member. Like the event I'm going to in Aiken, South Carolina, that is run by the Beehive. I'm one of the presenters for that event. The pretty peacock. Did I say that already? I'm one of the presenters, but the five of us that are presenting and doing our displays and our product showcases, we are all members of the Beehive. So we have, we have in-person events. Hattie does retreats. She does, she has a stampin' studio in Sumter, South Carolina, and that's where she has some in-person meetings. So there's lots of stuff going on. And even if you can't make them, they'll be virtual too. This is pecan pie. And I hope I said berry burst, berry burst. So those are the five colors for Gloria Stingham. And I have a, this is what I'm working on for my 3D swap. I'm going to, again, use the example of when you do a swap, you get inspired, like I did by the ink color projects I saw, and then you just make things that you're inspired by. So I made these little paper purses, and I didn't put, I didn't put the ribbon handles on them. A, because I'm working on five or six projects simultaneously, and B, because I didn't have, like, a lot of matching ribbons for these particular projects. So I used the Circle Sayings, which is this month's card club. I used the Something Fancy Dies for the little flap there. I used the Brushed Breast, brushed breast Butterfly. Say that three times fast. And put little chocolates inside that I got in Europe. And these are little Cadbury's. I got them at the airport there in London. And then there's my little... I know I had a few more. Here we go. There's some that are finished. So that's what I'm working on, and these are my 3D swaps for the event I'm going to. So lots of differences between our teams, and you're going to get to learn from Hattie, who's great at doing in-person events. And these are just ones I'm working on. I'm, I'm not done yet. And then I have the chocolate in here. So these are, this is the projects I'm working on. I'm doing this paper less because I have a lot more samples with it. But next we're going to do, this is an online exclusive paper. It is called... Irresistible Blooms. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Irresistible Blooms is the bundle it goes with. It's called Hello Irresistible, an online exclusive paper, which is also on sale this month for 15% off. So, Beehive. She has a different style than me. She does a lot of in-person events. So you're going to learn from that kind of different style. And then she does a lot of different things at her meetings. Like, I don't stamp in my meetings. We are, my meetings are like, we all chat and we get to socialize in Zoom and we have drawings for prizes and we talk about challenges and we do updates. But in her meetings, she does what's called mystery stamping every month. You get to learn a new card design every month. Also, Hattie enrolls in training programs. Let me just go through this, this one with you as I'm talking. Hello, Irresistible. Again, just making sure I said it. Okay. She, she's enrolled in all these different training programs and she's allowed to share everything with the team. So there's, there's a team make and take. You get, a, you get a design packet regardless if you buy the make and take packet. You get a PDF tutorial every month by being part of that group. So that's really nice, a nice tutorial. And if you do want to do the make and take packets, you can also get the packet and make all the cards that are in the tutorial. She, she does a lot of extra training for us because she's in other groups. And they give her training and she in turn agrees to do training for them. So it's really nice because we benefit from top demonstrators from around the world that are in her training. It's called a training co-op where she shares stuff with us that she learns from other demonstrators. So if you're part of my team, you're part of her team. 
She's a gold or possibly a gold elite demonstrator. Been around a lot longer than me and is just a completely different type of demonstrator than I am. And you would just benefit from having both of us as your uplines. She'd be your stamping Grammy, like we, like a grandma, right? And I'd be your stamping mama. Okay, so like stamping upline. It means that we help support you. In my team, I have mentors. They've been helping some of my new team members and they're awesome. Like Linda and Rhonda have been helping mentor other new team members. So you, you have a lot of support from... I mean, it's great being part of a team because of the mentors and because of other team members. We have a pastor. We have, we have different team members who do uh, show mercy crafting. We have, that's Sue, and we have Rita, who's the pastor, Rita. We have different ones who do crafting simply because they joined their hobby demos and they want to do crafting to give back to their communities. They make cards. They make crafts for nursing homes and assisted living facilities. So our, they might shout out to my team or to the beehive and they say, hey everybody, can you send me cards that I can give to assisted living facilities? And not only that, they've even spread the word. They, they have others, other people on my team are now doing the same thing. So now they're giving each other cards. Whenever we need something, like I needed some help with this product showcase I'm doing this Saturday. My team stepped up and several have already sent me projects. Janet, Linda, Kay is doing some pins with Zany Zoo. Um, Jean, they, they've sent me projects already. So it's really fun. Rhonda's bringing some extra materials that I need at that workshop she's gonna be bringing because we're sending two buckets around to do these make and take projects. She, she's sending me, like, or she's bringing an extra stamp set and extra ink that I can use. So everybody supports each other. And that's what's really fun about being part of a Stampin' Up team. And I've met friends online here that have then joined my team that then I later met in person They've come to my house or I've met them in other places and it's just great. I've made lifelong friendships through Stampin' Up. Like I first met them on YouTube and next thing you know, we're hanging out together in, in person. And this weekend, I'm gonna be around more paper chefs than ever. We'll get a group picture because a lot of them are gonna be at the same event so we can gather. And that's what's really fun, being part of a community. So those are just you know some of the many, many perks of joining. Stampin' Up. You know, like I said, all the discounts is all great. Now, we also get, you're going to see a, a, what is it called, a package from me soon that I unboxed. And it's it's a pre-order. We get to pre-order from products that aren't even out yet, which is super cool. So we get the, we're the first dibs. So right now there's an online exclusive coming. This is an online exclusive that's current. And I'm going to show you a few projects I made from it. But there's online exclusives that are coming up in July and we get to pre-order them in June. I'm gonna put these over here because I don't wanna spill all these die cuts after all the work that I've been doing for these. Some people have assistance, but I don't. I have my friend Kathy's coming to visit and she helps me and like my, my husband's friend Kelly visits once a year and he helps me and my mom helps me all the time with the sewing. But I do all this die cutting myself for all the clubs and kits and I would love to have an assistant but I live in the middle of nowhere, so we'll maybe someday get an assistant. That's why I got lots of projects going on. All right, so these things I made with Irresistible Blooms Bundle and the paper I just showed you, the Hello Irresistible Designer Series paper. So this is a little gift card holder with the envelope inside. So you can see how those pretty sort of pastel and subtle colors, although the Daffodil Delight's a bright color, that's pretty subtle in these. I did a gift card holder workshop on Udemy. That's my the website where I teach online courses. And in that workshop, I taught how to make this particular card with a gift card holder. This one is being ready to send to someone because I have it in a bag with these little, oh, I showed how to make these online too. And in the course, in the course as well. But I showed how to make these little gift card envelopes last month. Or was it the month before? We just did, I think last month might've been playing in the rain. Or, March was playing in the rain. Yep, and then April was, the workshop was, I think, the Hello Irresistible, or Irresistible Blooms. And then I did, and now I'm doing Zany Zoo for the months of May and June. So every every month I have a workshop and we focus on, it's just another style of the same one. Gift card holder. Okay, so we did the samples in there. And now my favorite of the small papers. So my favorite of the large papers is Zany Zoo. My favorite of the small papers and this is the last one, just so you know. 
if you've been timing it. I'm, t I'm trying to get through all the papers. So this is called da -da -da, Bright and Beautiful Designer Series Paper. Bright and Beautiful. I love this. This is going to be next month's, we'll flip through it, next month's workshop series. In the month of July, we're going to be featuring this paper, the Beautiful Balloons Stamp Set and Dies. Let me just go ahead and put this down and show you the paper. And the Memories and More card packs and envelopes and Memories and More cards. So there's going to be lots of products to go with the suite. And I have a few samples to show you as well. So lots of things you can do with this. That's a lemon lolly, by the way, that nice new yellow color. So our graphic artist did a fantastic job creating all these beautiful patterns on this. Oh, thank you, Miss Kathy. She's saying, Bright as beautiful as you. See, now I can selectively see which comments. No, I'm just kidding. I can't see all the comments. I could just happen to see that one because I was looking straight at the, straight at the camera. Whoops. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, needed the DSP for a recent episode. She said, craft roulette. Something, did you say craft roulette? I want to know more about what craft roulette is. So all of this DSP that's in the description of this video is all on sale for 15% off. So if you like any of it, just go ahead and get it. If you're like, you know, joining's not for me. I don't know why it wouldn't be because, I mean, I want to say... The only, the only thing is if you do join, then there's nothing happens to you if you don't, if you don't keep up with it, except that you would just go back to being a customer. So some people worry that they're going to disappoint me. Oh, I'm not going to be able to stay active. Well, this is a quarter. This is, this is one quarter. So this is January, February, March, April, May, June. This is June. This is the last month of a quarter. And you have until July, August, September. And then you have a pending month, October. If by the end of October you don't sell or spend $300, that's before your discount, then you would be dropped at the end of October. That's the pending month. And what happens? You go back to being a customer. whip de doo right? Don't worry about that. I would not be disappointed if you can't keep up with it. I'm not worried about it. I mean, you join. If you can stay active, you stay active. I hope you can stay active. I love this piece of paper, by the way. So cool with the dots. If you can't, you can't, you know, things happen, but Stampin' Up! does give you exceptions. So if you're having financial reasons, like you can't stay active for financial reasons, you just can't keep the minimum up. $300 a quarter is the minimum, just in case you missed it with my last math I was doing in my head there. You have three, you have three months or one quarter, not counting this quarter, to make or spend $300. And if you don't, you have a pending month, you have one extra month. Craft Roulette is a weekly paper crafting show. Really? Wow, cool. And then you would just, at that point, go back to being a customer, which I love having my customers. And I'm, I mean, if you are already a customer, this is an opportunity for you to get more value for the starter kit. But if you say, nah, I don't want to deal with all that stuff. Okay, just get some paper this month, guys. This starter kit special I'm describing is, special is the month of June. Not only is the starter kit special the month of June, the $155 for only $99, the $155 for the product for $99, but also the designer series paper sales only going on in the month of June as well. So that's the, so everything I'm explaining to you is only this month, but it's not like you got to run to do it today, but I'm saying it is the month of June. Perhaps we, I, a lot of times have specials in the summer. I think it's perhaps like summer's, slower typically and after our catalog launched last month i love this piece and so this month may be a little bit slower because our catalog launched and now they're offering a special and i'm happy they just told us about it so it's on friday evening and it's like a game show pamela's saying wow how did i never hear about a craft game show like it's like i want to be on the show can we go on the show <laughs> or we just watch the show i want to be a darn contestant oh it's on youtube too how fun you can tell I don't have a lot of time to see. No, I do watch some YouTubes, but I tend to watch them like while my table, like while the phone is down on my table. So like, like today I was talking to my friend, Kathy, she's on here now. And we, she was on speakerphone and I'm like, I'm die cutting skunks. What are you doing? 
I was like die cutting little skunks. <laughs> you know what I mean? I need both my hands free. So I don't watch YouTube like, I don't look at the YouTube when I'm watching it a lot of times. I'm just listening to YouTube. All right, and this is the last piece of that. Yay! I love this paper and I'll show you a couple samples. So the, this paper is bright and beautiful and because it's already six by six, it's my favorite because you don't have to, when I do my little crafts with six by six, I don't have to go ahead and cut it small. So one of the little things I'm giving out this weekend are these little teas that I purchased in Europe to see at the, at the Royal, at the tea party. They're called Royal Blend and I've made these little things. Now I haven't put the sentiment on them yet, but you can see, and I haven't put the thing in the back yet, which is my chocolate because I'm keeping, because I gave some chocolates away last week and they melted when I went to the water park. I don't know what I was thinking, bringing chocolate out in Georgia, but I made all these little things and I, they all have little different ribbons on them. And I'm gonna put the chocolate in a cooler and maybe add the chocolate to it when I get to the event. But these stand up, so this is a modified version of what you've seen me make called the Double Fold Treat Pouch. This is a modified version of it, it's still Double Fold Treat Pouch, but it has a gusset in the bottom. I made the gusset so you could stand these up. And then I need to put the sentiments, which I'm in the middle of die cutting for. I'm gonna put like thank you on them and I have to make 65 of these. That's all. But I'm watching the new season of Vikings Valhalla which I'm excited about on Netflix. So that's why I'm doing all this crafting. All right, so that, by the way, the whole reason I'm showing you this is it's because it's bright and beautiful, right? So criteria, oh, the question went away. But I know if you asked a question and it just disappeared from me, then you will see my team members and lots of other demonstrators on here answering the question. So please answer her question that, you just, that just disappeared. So one of the things, and the reason I'm showing you these is these are samples of what you can make with all the DSP that you get in your starter kit. So you'd love me to post the link. Oh, yeah. Well, we the link to the game show or the link to join? The link to join is in the description of this video. And the game show link you can't put in. The only, only we, the moderators can put. By the way, let me just show you these as I'm talking. The, only the moderators can put links in the comments. I don't think the, the regular YouTube. Well, if you guys name the game show, you guys can look it up. And I can put a link after I vet it. I don't put links to anything I haven't vetted first, but... You guys can put links or the name of it, and then you guys can just search for it, right? I can't put a link because I don't, I'm not even like touching my phone. My phone's like way over there. So I can't put a link. So I'm, I don't think you guys are allowed to put links. If you do put, well, I don't mind if you put a link, but I'm saying I don't know if it lets you because I think it marks you as spam if you put a link. Anywho, these are my cards I created using the bright and beautiful designer series paper. These were my swap cards that I brought on the trip with me. And then on the back, I put like the different products I used and I used Berry Burst. So, and I even used a piece of embossed Lost Lagoon on here. And I was really trying to showcase, and I even cut all the die cut, all the shapes out with designer shapes paper. Cause I was trying to showcase what you could do with this paper. And then because I have another swap coming up this week, I thought, why not take my bucket of crafty goodness, which I'm always telling you to create. Every time you're die cutting, never waste to crank through the machine. Always cut extra stuff. So now I'm thinking, I got a swap coming up this weekend, and I haven't figured out what I'm doing for it yet. But I have loads of these balloons already cut out. And loads of the little things that dangle off the balloons from that. And loads of stars already cut out. So I think I'm going to do something with this paper for my swap. But after, I don't have to participate in the swap. It's a completely optional thing. But I am hosting the event, so I do need to finish these first where I don't need to finish my swap. I think I have one more beautiful balloons thing to show you. And then we wrap things up. And hopefully your questions were answered during it. Oh, here we go. There are two. It's my little question. So this is the same one as you saw. This was my swap that I showed you. And then this one is one that I'm gonna probably do something similar to this, maybe with balloons and stars for my upcoming card because I like how there's this acetate. It's another type of designer shirt paper. It's like an acetate that has little, little streamers on it. And so that's a nice way to display the paper. Just to give you ideas of what to do with the designer shirt paper. I hope all of that gave you inspiration for what to do with the 328 sheets of paper you're gonna get in this starter kit. Now, you would still want to have certain things so maybe you don't like all the paper I showed you, right? That's fine. Then 
Take a couple pieces of paper out and instead get this, get your trimmer. Cause everybody needs a trimmer. And you can put that in your starter kit instead of two packs of paper or something and the ribbon. So this is about 28. Okay, plus guys, if you join as a demo and don't continue. Yes, okay, thank you. Very good point, okay. If you join as a demonstrator and you don't continue as a demonstrator, you still keep your entire starter kit. You got that great deal. You got a discount for all the months you were in the organization. You get to keep everything that you've ever had. Nothing gets sent back. Nothing happens to you. You just go back to being a customer. That's it. No big deal. So if you've been on my team before, you're allowed to join my team again. You know, if you want to join this time, because there's a special, I mean, it's up to you. All right. So I hope that answered all your questions. I hope to see you as one of my new paper chefs this month. And that is all for now. You have a great evening. I'm going to be crafting the rest of the evening away until the wee hours, getting these projects done. And I hope you do something creative today as well. That's all for now. This is the Paper Chef. Have a great day.